The Young African Leaders Initiative, YALI, was launched by the United States government as a signature effort to invest in the next generation of African leaders. And I was privileged to be part of Cohort 50. Yeah, the Golden Cohort. The YALI program consists of the two weeks online training and also the three weeks on-site training. So in the on-site training, it was impactful for certain companies to learn more. And today we went to Agro Innova. So uh, you are all, uh, you are all welcome to Agro Innova. Mm -hmm. Surely someone will attend to all of you. Back. Agro Innova Company Limited. This is our premises. But we don't have understand it. I would like to find out should we translate it into French or the English is okay for everybody? No, English, English is okay for no, not everyone. Okay, as we got here, yes. struggling to understand English. Okay. Well, how, did, well, how did he apply? Okay. So we should do a French. So, but I'm going over as an administrative officer, and I have my colleagues here who also introduce themselves to me. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm Patricia. I'm the sales and marketing lead for Agriculture. I am Kizzy to assume I'm the third of the best I'm a Batman, part of finance. I'm pretty impressed with it. I need a sign of the market. Okay. 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 Sur ce que Agro Innova fait, c'est-à-dire l'agriculture et, et la vente des produits agricoles. You know, it takes fame in Ghana. We brand ourselves in that. We are providing technology solutions mainly to smallholder farmers and we are helping to transform the agricultural space with our technology. En plus, nous étions très heureux de recevoir votre lettre de, que vous avez envie d'apprendre sur Agro Innova. Le, no, no, les, les, les étapes qu'on a parcourues, ce qui nous rend euh, les meilleurs dans ce que nous faisons. Et nous sommes aussi heureux du fait que, comme vous êtes ici, vous allez... Je suis en charge de la business de Ok, merci. Bienvenue. Il s'appelle Kizito. Ok. So, just run you through the history. Um, Agro Innova started from an incubation hub. Ok, donc Agro Innova a commencé dans ce que nous appelons un nid. Un nid d'oiseau. Un nid de société. Donc c'est là que Agro Innova a vu les jours. So, uh, if you heard of Cosmos, mm. there is an oil firm. Uh, they have some operations scattered across Africa. So, as part of their social intervention, they have a program called uh, KIC Cosmos Innovation Center, where they look at how to support their local uh, areas of operation uh, through sort of a social intervention program to support the countries in which they are operating. In. Okay, so I don't know if you have heard of Cosmos, Cosmos Innovation Center. It's a petroleum company qui, dans son élan de faire du bien à la société, ou bien de rendre à la société ce que la société leur a donné, ils ont décidé de, de, de créer une compétition, ou bien une manière d'aider le, d'aider la société en, en créant ce nid-là, qui va pouvoir donner naissance à plusieurs sociétés. And since Agric is one of the areas you can make impact in any country, especially in Africa. They have a program where they invite young uh, people who have the passion for Greek to come and uh, 
exhibit what they, they have so that they are supported to form a business out of it. Okay. Aaron Nova was one of the second uh, cohorts. So if I say a cohort, every year has a group of people who are allowed to apply to be part of the Cosmos Innovation Center. So the second year cohort, Aaron Nova was part of the team that came out of that cohort. Okay, so they, they are a group of people like we are here. They come and then they form groups based on their personal interests. So they came together as a group of, uh, by then it was four people, and they came up with an idea to help uh, come up with a software for the poultry industry. So that was the first idea. Don't, uh, so first product uh, they came out with is Akoko Takra. Unfortunately, I don't have a brochure here, but I think we mentioned it only. So Akoko Takra is a poultry management software so that the farmer can use it to record the daily activities on the farm, like feeding the bears. They have some crops that they have selected as the staple crop for both countries. And oh, yeah. if you go onto the app and you select a country, you see those crops and you are able to manage your farm with the app. It also allows you to keep basic records of the farm and then your financial transactions it gives you weather updates uh, and it also helps you with the cropping calendar to know what to do at what time. Okay, so that was the second product. Okay, so the there, there is a program already being run by GIZ, which is the Farmer Business School. But before we came in with this solution, they were doing it manually where they were giving uh, books to farmers to teach them on the aspects of the, the app I mentioned, which is the daily activities on the farm, recording your expenses, uh, and all those things, uh, best farming practices and all that. So we digitized this whole thing into an app called the MPS Nova. So when you go there, you find all those activities uh, on on a phone, and you can download it, and you're able to use it offline. So even, uh, even if you don't have internet, you can use it and when there's internet it synchronizes the data uh, to a database and anytime you log in with your phone number it pulls the data back for you to be able to uh, to use and that applies to uh, the Akuba Takra as well a small other farm I speak in Africa so whilst we were rolling out these uh, technology interventions it's one of the major things that came up and that resulted in our, should I say, flagship product, which is the Akoko market, to be able to help farmers sell their produce. So we are linking farmers to revenue guaranteed markets with that solution. So that answers uh, part of the questions we were asked, asked or the uh, observations you made when you came in, you saw buku, you saw something about smallholder farmers, you saw something about chicken, and all that. So, in our journey at Agroduba, we have evolved based on the needs that we are then trying in the market. We, didn't, we just didn't come out with the product. So, as I mentioned, you've seen how each product came about because of a niche that. Uh, was established and had to uh, come up with a technology solution to help tackle that need. So if you look at what we are doing, we are with the farmer throughout the process. Yeah. When you start, you have the apps to help you to manage your farm. And then when you are ready with your produce, we help you to sell all the produce and our mm -hmm. um, To delve a little bit into the room. Um, access to markets. Uh, you are combining for farm. When you have, uh, I believe most of you have a uh, uh, SIM card, Ghana SIM card, right? I want you to dial star 713, star 713, star 83 hash. Star 
in this production. And that's the refer comes in the form of input. Mm -hmm. Or research has shown that if you give them team books, it's going to help them better than let's say giving them cash or anything like that. So inputs and technical support. With those uh, key activities, you can request for that also through the co market uh, USSD code that you just found. You can request to buy day with chicks, uh, fertilizer, uh, you can request for planters or any other inputs that you think will help to help to boost uh, your, your production. So we also have an input financing model on co market. Don't each of the things I've said connect to each other. So I'm a farmer. I raise birds. So before I start raising the birds, I want support uh, to help me start. So I dial the short code and then I tell Agrodoba that I'm a poultry farmer. Based on the relationship I'm able to establish with Agrodoba, Let's say we are able to pick some boilers from you as a farmer one, two, three times. Now, when you first for the day old chicks, we support you with the day old chicks. You start farming. When the produce is ready or when the, the bears are mature, you dial the code and then we pay it up from you to help you sell. Now, you need feed to feed the bears. So, there's a farmer also somewhere there in the north, who does the code and says that he has maize and soya bean he wants to sell. We pick the soya bean from the farmer and the maize, and then we bring it to the poultry farmer who needs the maize and the soya bean to formulate his feed for his best. The farmer who requested for to sell of the produce also needs fertilizer, insecticides, improved seedlings, to be able to grow his maize or soya. With the same code, he can request for those uh, inputs from us. Okay, so you can see that there's a connection or a chain uh, involving all the applications and all the solutions that we are providing. And then also, uh, our stakeholders are also able to benefit from the data that you are able to generate, uh, generate through uh, these applications. So that's a summary of what we do here. And I'll uh, invite. Please look on. Good afternoon, once again. Product is Vito Edubu, please. Uh, Agro Innova. We are all straight for for the insights, and then uh, it's been an educative session with you so we hope to uh, uh, learn more from what you have said and then put it into practice thank you so much at agro innova i learned that everything is possible and you can easily penetrate in the market when you take it serious the market will not look for you you have to go out there and look for the market thank you Yali. this was the best experience as a leader <laughs>